Hi guys, it's Sheila here from Rascals and Rainbows and I'm back with another Fruity Time craft vlog. So today I'm going to show you how to make lots of under the sea creatures using paper plates. So first of all, I'll turn the camera around and let you see all the resources you need. Although you can improvise, you don't need all these things really. Um, it's amazing what you can find around the house that you can use instead. So here I'll just show you what we have. So we have our trusty paper plates, some coloured card, some bun cases, uh, bubble wrap that I recently received in a package coming in handy, um, scissors and glue and um, these are great actually for just sponge painting rather than, you know, buying the actual sponges like this. Um, and there's some uh, coloured squared cards and then just loads of bits and bobs in this little tray. We've got some buttons and pom-poms and feathers and all sorts of things and of course lots of brightly coloured paint. Okay so the first uh, craft I'm going to show you is how to make a jellyfish. So basically all you need is some paint, your paintbrush, your paper plate that you're going to paint, uh, some bubble wrap which is really good for the tentacles and some googly eyes, but you don't need, you can just use card and draw an eyes yourself if you wish. So first of all, you're gonna take your paper plate. I usually turn a paper plate over to the other side because it's not usually as shiny and it takes the paint better. So you're going to completely cover your paper plate with paint, just using your paint brush. And then once it's all completely covered, you'll leave it to dry and then cut it in half. So you actually get two jellyfish out of one paper plate. Now, I sometimes, my two girls, when they're doing this, would maybe paint one half of the jelly, or one half of the plate one color and the other half another color so that they end up with two different colored jellyfish. So you can do that. Um, so there we go, there's one side done. And now I'm going to do the other side. I'll just swap paint brushes. And I'm going to use green paint for the other half. So I like the nice bright colors. Just makes them really pop when we put them up to decorate. You don't need to have lots of paint brushes either. You can just rinse with water and use the same brush. But for speed, I just have a selection on hand so I can get through the crafts. Oh, wrong colour. Stop the brush. And there you go. So once the paper plate is painted, you just set it to one side and let it dry. And while it is drying, you're going to take a little sheet of bubble wrap, like so, and we're going to sponge paint the bubble wrap to make tentacles. So I've got some more brightly coloured paint and I'm going to use, I've cut these little sponges in half, so I'm going to use each sponge with a different colour and sponge paint all over the bubble wrap. It doesn't matter if the colours blend, it actually looks even nicer when they all blend together. So just dipping my sponge into the paint like that and then off you go. Now you just need to keep your fingers on it as you're sponging. Oh, can you see that? I'm kind of trying to make sure I'm still in the camera view. And you just sponge all around your sheet. Maybe little patches of yellow here and there. And then swap over, pick a different color. We go for pink this time and sponge like that. So you continue to sponge all the way around your bubble wrap and once it's completely covered, it won't take too long to dry because you're just using a little bit of paint with the sponge. And once it's dried, you're literally going to cut strips and um, to make the tentacles. So I'll just put a blue here, this one as well. And dab different colors in and out. Looks a bit like tie-dye by the time you're finished. 
um, but it's an effective way of making tentacles for your jellyfish. But if you don't have bubble wrap, you could also use tissue paper. You can actually also use another paper plate and just um, cut, cut around um, the outer edge and kind of make a twirly shape and then you can stick those on to make tentacles, paint them bright colors as well. So you get the idea and that's what you have there when you're done. Doesn't it look good? So we're gonna leave that to dry and once it's dried, we're going to cut it into strips. Once your paper plate is dry, you can cut it in half according to the two colors. And then, you can see you've got your two jellyfish there. Set them to one side and take your piece of bubble wrap, which is so colorful, and then cut out strips of bubble wrap um, for the tentacles. So it's just a case of maybe going across two um, little sections. You don't want to make it too thick. Uh, so basically you end up with lovely uh, tentacles like that. So uh, I'll cut out another one. And I'll we'll cut out a few more here and then I'll show you how to attach them. So once you've cut out your strips, you just take your paper plate, turn it over and apply some glue all across the bottom and then add your tentacles. So, um, let me see, probably about six. There's one, should be enough. Two, three, another one there, four, and six. So, and then, ooh, doesn't it look good? And the, the bubble wrap works really well because it's so light and it flutters. And then you can just take a couple of your little googly eyes and either glue them or peel the, peel the backs off them and stick them on. And if you want, you can give your jellyfish a happy smiley fish, uh, <laughs> smiley face, um, if you like, and that's it. So there you have it. Our next craft is a really simple one uh, for little ones to make, and it's great for scissor skills. All you need is paper plate, some uh, cupcakes. Now, if you have white ones, you could just sponge paint them uh, yourself and a glue stick and of course uh, a little googly eye. So what we do with this is first of all you take your paper plate and you cut a triangle out of your plate like this to give, to give your fish a mouth. And then once you've cut out, just trying to turn this so you can see, once you've cut that out you peel off the sticker if you're using a googly eye and you give your fish an eye, like so. Okay, and once your eye is stuck on, you can see how we are. Then we're going to take our little rainbow cupcakes and you flatten them out and you cut them in half. So you cut out a selection of those and then you can decide how you want to decorate your fish, whether you want to do rolls of all the same color or whether you want to do a whole mix of colors. So um, lots of cutting, which is good for little fingers, developing those fine motor skills. So cutting all our cupcake cases in half. So I have lots of cupcake cases cut in half and just before I start putting them on to make our rainbow fish, I'm going to take an orange cupcake case, fold it out flat, spread it out, 
Then I'm going to fold it in half like that and fold it in half again like that. And that is going to be the tail of the fish. So then you can take a little bit of glue and put it onto your tail and then stick that to the back of the plate. So now you've got your little fishy tail. Okay, see that? And then once you've got your tail on, you can go ahead and start gluing on the fins. Oh no, this makes lovely rainbow scales. So you stick on, I'm just going to go in rainbow order. Of course, you could do it color by color. But I'm just going to test and see how it looks. Red, orange, yellow. Now you might get a full row on of colour and you're going to be sticking more behind that. So you've got red, orange, yellow, and green. And blue. And maybe see where, well I think you probably could put a little pink one in the bottom, like so. And then you continue that same pattern, making rows behind, just using less as you go back. So we'll keep going with that and then I'll show you what it's like at the end. So there you have it, a rainbow fish with a lovely tail at the back. Super easy to make for little ones. Now I didn't use uh, color on the fish, but of course you could paint your plate a nice bright yellow or orange or you can get colored paper plates as well and um, i just to save me having to wait for the paint to dry i just did it on the white plate to show you the effect but it turned out really well so a nice one for little ones for scissor skills and uh, for hand-eye coordination for my next uh, paper plate craft i'm going to show you how to make a very simple sea turtle uh, and all you need is, of course, your paper plate. I have some green squares of paper, different shades of green. I have some green paint, glue stick pencil, scissors, and another piece of green card. And basically what you do with this is, first of all, you can paint your plate with green all over. And once it's painted and you've left it to dry, you're going to use your different coloured um, squares to stick on top to give the kind of turtle shell effect. And then on the other piece of green card, you can draw out a head and legs to stick on. And that's it. So it's, again, another nice simple one for little ones to try independently, developing all those skills that are so important in the early years the fine motor skills and their um, hand-eye coordination and all those things and of course getting creative and having fun which is so important as well and um, I often put music on whenever I'm doing arts and crafts with my girls at home they find it so therapeutic and relaxing so um, there you go so that's the first stage I need to let that dry and once it's dry, we can create a turtle shell effect. So while you're waiting on the paper plate to dry, you can take your piece of green card, turn it over and draw out the shape for a head. I'm just kind of doing a, a longish neck because you won't see that. I'm going to stick that to the back of the paper plate. So that's going to be the little head poking out. And then if we have little legs kind of coming around one layer like that and one on the other side like that and then two little ones at the bottom just kind of that sort of shape sort of poking out from behind the shell and then I'm going to cut each of those out and they're going to be ready to stick onto the back of the paper plate once we have um, stuck on the card to make the eggshell effect. So 
So I always try to draw on the reverse of the cards, so then you're not going to see any of those pencil lines when you go to stick it on. So that sort of idea for the head, and then you'll be able to pop that in behind and put little googly eyes on. And then we'll cut out the other parts as well. And I'll show you that in a wee second. So once the paper plate is dry, uh, it's simply a case of taking all your pieces and sticking them onto the plate. So first of all, I have lots of um, paper squares, little uh, light coloured card, and it's I will stick down some of these to make it look like a little shell, which is a nice, easy activity um, for young children to be able to just randomly stick down the little squares wherever. Of course, if you don't have paper squares like this, you can cut up any um, green card that you might have, or if you don't have green card, you can just um, color in squares and then um, stick them on like that. So once we have enough of the little squares stuck on, I'll pop on one more here just to give you the idea like that. Uh, then uh, we take our head and we put glue where I was saying the, the bit that won't be seen, the neck part. And we're going to stick the little head on there like that. And then we've got these parts to put on the side. So a little bit of glue on the top like that. And that goes there. And then the same on the other side, a little bit of glue. This is going to be popping out here like this. And then our two feet, pull it up a bit so you can see, our two little feet at the bottom, one here and one on the other side here. Just make sure they're kind of even. And that is, that's basically it. And then just take your googly eyes and pop them on for the, for the face. One and the other one. And again, if you want to make them a happy turtle, you can give them a smiley face. And that's it. I'll probably add in a few more squares, but you get the idea. And that's it. I should turn it this way, I suppose it'll be easier to see. There you go. So I hope you enjoyed those crafts. So whether you give the jellyfish a go or our lovely rainbow fish, I've since painted the face, and our little turtle. If you try out any of the crafts, um, don't forget to tag um, We Love Froogie and use the hashtag Froogie Creates for your chance to be featured um, on their Instagram. And uh, I'll be keeping an eye out too. I love to see people trying out my crafts. And if you do tag me, I'll share on my Instagram as well and my stories. So um, I hope you all have a lovely summer and the children are kept amused and entertained. Lots of crafts to keep them busy. Bye.